Welcome back. A lunar test orbiter which will help lay the groundwork for China's Chang'e 5 mission has arrived at a launch site in Xichang in southwest China's Sichuan province. Well, the test orbiter which will be launched later this year will be China's first attempt at returning a lunar probe back to Earth. Li Chong has more. Setting the stage for China's first round trip to the moon. With the launch scheduled for later this year, the probe will travel all the way to the moon and enter its orbit. Tests will then be carried out to see if the probe can escape the moon's orbit and enter a flat path back to Earth. It requires initial velocity from the carrier, and it can be accelerated by the spacecraft's own fuel. There are many other ways to do it as well, such as taking advantage of the gravity of other planets. In a word, they can achieve such velocity by combining both external and internal forces. The orbiter is just one of many test modules and probes for China's upcoming Chang'e 5 mission, which will be tasked with landing a rover on the moon, collecting samples, and returning to Earth. Many countries have sent their own lunar probes and landers to the moon, but only the U.S. and Russia have succeeded in getting them safely back to Earth. The return trip is the hardest part. The Soviet Union launched 14 probes to the moon, but only three of them returned to Earth. And altogether, they only brought back 300 grams of samples. Returning a lunar probe back to Earth is the next goal in China's space program. Once that feat is reached and mastered, the next step will be the most ambitious of all, sending humans to the moon and returning them safely back to Earth. China started late in the space race. We never had astronauts in the lunar missions, but we have good technology for manned space missions. So after we are able to have probes return to Earth, we'll study and move to possible manned lunar missions. China launched the Chang'e 3 lunar probe with its rover Yu-2 in late 2013. The mission was proceeding successfully until mission controllers back on Earth lost control of the lander in January of this year. Designed as a backup for Chang'e 3, Chang'e 4 will be adapted to verify the technologies needed for the Chang'e 5 mission, which is scheduled for launch in 2017. Li Chong, CCTV.